Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Supermodel Bella Hadid has recently come under fire from Israel for her pro-Palestine support. This past week, Bella Hadid took to the streets of New York City to protest against all the atrocities that are happening against her brothers and sisters in Palestine. I mean, I should know. I was there. Free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Yep, that's me. Okay, okay, that, that's, that's not me. This is me. And while I look like I should be a supermodel myself for Muslim bearded men across the world, I don't want my good looks, Allahumma Badak, to distract us from the points of this video. Also, shout out to my partners in Crime Quranly. Download their app, link in the description. I mean, 58 children have died in the past week from Israel's ethnic cleansing alone. To put that in perspective for you, back in 2014, 551 Palestinian children were murdered by Israel. That's nearly 11% of an entire year's worth of killing done in just one week. And I should know, I'm a math teacher. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what Bella Hadid is coming out to protest against. The killing of innocents. And though Bella has Palestinian roots, that's not required for you to come out and support this cause. If you ask me, it's great seeing celebrities such as Bella Hadid come out and use her influence to educate her audience about matters that they might have been ignorant to prior to her posting about it. But upon seeing the support done by Bella Hadid, Israel being the victims that they are, decided to cancel Bella by putting out a tweet against her. The official illegitimate state of Israel tweeted about her. Wait, I never knew a country could have its own official Twitter handle. I mean, yeah, me neither, but that's how desperate they've become. I guess that makes sense. Israel somehow suggested that by Bella Hadid supporting the rights of Palestinians, she somehow is advocating for throwing Jews in the sea. There's two problems with such a claim. One, Bella never suggested such a thing. Two, are you telling me that Zionists can't swim? Who knew that water was the Zionist kryptonite the whole time? Instead of throwing rockets, Hamas needs to maybe get one of those super soakers and just shoot them with some water. This Jewish state is not even supported by your own Orthodox Jews. So stop trying to promote this anti-Semitic agenda. Labeling someone an anti-Semite is like calling someone a crackhead. You immediately strip them away of any type of legitimacy in their claims or arguments. It's becoming clear and obvious that Israel feels that its squeaky clean image is now being exposed for what it truly is. Hence, they're buying advertisement on Muslim YouTubers' videos. And now, the whole country is tweeting about a celebrity? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So let's keep talking about this and keep putting pressure on the necks of Israel so that we can bring more awareness to the cause. And before I leave, just remember one thing, that protests are great. It's a great way to show solidarity. It's a great way to raise awareness about our cause. But don't forget about the fact that if we truly need success and help, it's only gonna stem from Allah. And that comes when we stay away from sinning and turn back to the Quran and the Sunnah and specifically our prayers. Jazakallah once again for watching. And until next time, I'm out.